Well, hey guys, Dave here, and welcome back. Now this is gonna be a, just an entirely t different type of video. So why would somebody build a motion rig? I'm just stating the obvious here. Race cars move, they move a lot, and they move a lot of weight. So your body inside a, a race car, depending on which way you move it, I mean, it's gonna move. Your head's gonna move, everything's gonna move. This guy, he's not in a static rig, so everything is moving so that's why my rig moves and it's not moving by itself it's moving because something that i'm doing or or that the road or geography does so what the rig does is it transfers the game data from the game whether um, you're going up a hill you're going down a hill geography wise um, elevation wise or whether i'm turning left or right or i'm hitting the brakes accelerating it's it's getting that game data and it's moving um, basically either according to the the track layout or by something that I'm doing whether I'm slamming on the gas or slamming on the brakes turning left and right so this is a full frame rig the seat the pedals the shifter the wheel everything that all moves as one unit like a uh, like the suspension or the suspended parts of a car so not including the wheels, you can get the slip and stuff from the traction loss or from force feedback from your wheel, but all the other things, the full frame moves just like a suspended uh, chassis on a car. So you're typically gonna be slower on a motion rig than a static rig because you're dealing with all these different forces. You're, I mean, it's like being in the car, especially with VR. Is it worth it for that level of immersion? In my opinion, yes. Is it realistic? Well, next time you drive your car somewhere, pay attention to the G-forces. Accelerate, brake, uh, turn left, turn right, go up and down hills. A motion simulator gives you just enough force to trick your brain into thinking you're actually driving. In VR, it just feels natural to me. So what's the difference between a high-powered car and a low-powered car? Higher-powered cars are automatically adjusted due to the speed and power of those cars. Now this is adjusted by the game telemetry, which is a continuous signal to the motion simulator. And of course you can fine tune any vehicle through the software, however you want it to feel. I can tell you what it doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like you're riding in the passenger seat. You're in complete control. So the movements that the, the motion sim does is directly relates to either the road and you know it's coming when you're, you see a hill in the distance, motion sim will start pitching backwards. If you hit uh, the brake real hard, you know you did it. The motion sim is gonna slam forward or ease forward depending on the force. So it's getting this continuous stream of telemetry. It's telling this thing what to do. So mine has three motors, um, each around 35 kilohertz. So 35,000 times a second, it's sampling the position of the motor and telling it where to push or pull or whether it needs to keep moving. So remember, you're in complete control. This thing is not doing anything except sitting there unless you start pushing the gas. And your brain does get tricked. Um, so it's not like sitting in a passenger seat, like say you go off-roading with your friends and you're sitting in the passenger seat and you're hitting bumps that you're not expecting, you're turning left and right, because you, you're not in charge of the wheel. Eh, it's nothing like that, nothing at all like that. So that's why I did this video, just to kind of show you what the, what the motion simulator is doing, and to tell you, man, it, it is so cool. In VR, I've got all the haptics going. The only thing I don't have is that new vibrating pad thing that Hippie has. Yeah, I think I might get one, but right now, motion, VR, and uh, racing with you guys at ACF. Yeah, man, this track, try it out. I'll put a link in the description if you never tried it. It's, 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 it's a handful. I don't know how they race GT3 cars here, uh, given it's a tight track it's super twisty and, and turns um anyway so enjoy the video um give me a comment something at least you get to see the reason 
anybody would even try to do this. I can't wait to build a flight simulator. This is the new rig. It's got the Fanatec, uh, Fanatec CSL DB. This is going to be better than this one. All new motors, everything like that. This one's been running for three years. Other than a couple little hiccups with breaking the lever arms off, rock solid. All right, so let's get to the video, guys. Uh, hey, subscribe, like. All right, so let's take a quick run around Nutstorp, uh, which is a track that I raced this last weekend with the ACF guys. Uh, we did two races, 20 minutes each, and yeah, man, this thing is a roller coaster. And that put this motion sim to the test, but you know, it passed. It's been running for three years, great. And yeah, it's a DIY rig. I'm going to be in the BMW Mini FJ56, and once again, this track, NVR, let's go. Now, I have the track map up. I've got this little timer thing, which I normally don't drive with all this stuff, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to start in 10th place. <laughs> all right, so, like I said, we are in that mini I got cold tires and coming into that first turn this is against the AI so oh, it's not not like I'm gonna make anybody real mad if I cut a few corners Ah, oh, come on, guys. So, right, in, right away, I'm so in tune to this thing. It feels so real to me. Now, you may not see the traction loss, you know, the, uh, the rear end sliding out like you might in a... Uh, whoa, that's, that's a wicked turn. Like you might in a, a rear-wheel drive car. But... Uh, Come on, dude. Um, that's okay, because these are front wheel drive and you know, they're not gonna do that. But I just want you to know, I'm not, I mean, this this is fun. This is absolutely a great time. Whoa. A little bit tight racing here. It's a tight track. It is a tight track at that, and these bumps. I don't know what the what the motion sim chair is doing, but I can tell you right now, it feels natural to me. And yeah, you're not going to be as fast, but uh, you know, I'm, I never said I was a real good driver either. Just jump here. You gotta get down. Whoa, feel something going on. Alright, so it's probably going to make you sick watching it in VR, but let's see if I can get, I don't even know what my time is like horrible right now, 108, that's because of the traffic guys, but you know, don't be afraid of motion sims, don't be afraid, they act, I mean there's thousands of guys that drive these things, so don't uh, think that it's going to be something that you can't handle. Just don't don't be afraid. That's all I can say. All right. All right, Dave out. Whoa, shit. <laughs> try to stop talking and try driving. Even going down a hill like that, it's crazy. All right, well, we made it. Not too bad. Hey, subscribe, like. I'd appreciate you guys along for the ride. 
All right, Dave out.